Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Emerald 386. Here we are fighting the Elite Four, and the next one is... What I presume will be rock or ground. So, with that, I think I'm actually gonna send out Interceptor out first. Just to see. Ah ha ha, I'm Phoebe Elite Four, and do my training on Mount Pyre. Gain ability to commune with ghost type Pokemon. I was completely off. Yes, I developed the bottom with Pokemon, it's extremely tight. Just see if we can inflict damage on my Pokemon. Well, yeah, I was extremely off, wasn't I? I wasn't expecting a ghost type to be dressed like that. Okay. Huh, this is gonna be interesting. Cause I'm not I'm not really sure what to use against uh Yep, that's not worried very well. I'm not really sure what to use against ghost types. I don't really have anything super effective against it, other than maybe ground. Even that, it won't be the greatest ever. If it can even hit. Because a lot of these, pro I think, have a uh, levitate, so it's not going to do very well. Yeah, as I expected. Oh, that's alright. If she keeps using freaking Focus Punch, then I'll be okay. I mean, nothing to really worry about there. Not really. I presume this will go a little bit better than Sydney, though. I mean, nothing could go worse than that. Oh my gosh. It just proves how bad of a Pokemon trainer I can be. I mean, I can be decent, but sometimes I'm just... I just can't do it real. Oh, there you go. Leaf Blade's almost out already. Fuck. It's already in yellow. That's alright, though. Alrighty. Who is the next one? Gengar. Interesting. I believe Gengar has, uh... Levitate, so I'm not gonna use it now. I could be wrong, though. Basically, if I want someone who can deal a hell of a lot of damage, I'll send him out. Really? That doesn't seem like a very smart move at all, but alright. Whatever. I presume this will do about a third. Or more than half. Way more than half. Okay. Such as Barry, huh? Alright. Uh, I don't- I, I need to be safe. Safe strats. I do have elixirs and ethers and all that stuff that I can use. Which I most definitely will. Bye, Gengar's out, so there you go. Did a lot of damage on my, uh... My guy, though. Hmm. Bayonet, huh? Uh, Bayonet's a weird one. I don't really know what to use against it, so here you go. I am faster, apparently. Wow, that did a lot more than I was expecting. Ooh, that's gonna do a good amount. Oh, shock. Really? It didn't. She didn't heal? Weird, I thought she would have. Huh. Well, Bennett's out. Wow, this is going a lot faster. Holy crap. Sableye, huh? Well, Sableye has no uh, weaknesses, so I'll just stick with uh, this guy. Which, actually, I believe Sableye has 70 base for everything, which is not bad. He's a very balanced Pokemon. Very uh, jack-of-all-trades, I'd say. Mischievous, huh? Well, I'm gonna stick with my Magneton. I mean, no reason to switch out, really. Unless that happens. God damn it. Hmm. I think if I use a shockwave. Ah, oh, can't escape now. Whatever. Wasn't really going to anyway. I should do a fair amount though. Yep. Alright. Oh! Really? Come on. I hate that. No problem though, we got it. We got oh, what the hell? Stop doing that. Like, uh, you're gonna die anyway from this move. Might as well just not even waste your time. Really? Really? Well that sucks. And I don't think you can escape either, so he's gonna die in three turns. Oh, 
Of course it'd be a critical hit. <laughs> Why not? Well, that was freaking easy. I mean, that took, what, six minutes? Go ahead, move on to the next move. I was, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. In fact, because it was only six minutes and that's all the healing I need to really do, I'm just gonna keep going to the next one. I mean, six minutes is six minutes, but, you know. I don't want you guys to have to wait a whole day just for a six minute video. Oh, this is definitely ice. If it's not ice, I'll be really surprised. I have nothing good against ice, except maybe water. Hi! Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I travel from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Go ahead and try, ma'am. You can't beat me. Uh-uh. You can't beat me. Hello, swine. Yup, Tentacruel is definitely the best start here. I kind of want to hold off on Hydro Pump for a while. But yeah, I think uh, level 80 was a great idea, personally. I'm not too far ahead, but I'm not too below either. Jinx, huh? Well, we'll see if it does super effective. I thought it did, but it, I might be wrong. Well, we'll see. Now it's normal. Alright. Yeah, this would be a nice time to have a Fire Pokemon, but... Because I don't, I'll have to deal. And it's not that big of a deal, not really. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I'm not exactly getting a lot of damage done to me. Um, yeah. I... This might actually do normal damage, though. I'm not really sure. Might be super. Yeah, it is super interesting. I thought that ice would have counteracted it, but maybe it doesn't. Hm. Well, whatever. Oof, that did a lot. But we'll use Shockwave. Shockwave will take it out. At least I most certainly hope so. Yep. Oh, barely by the looks of it. Oh, he's about to level up though. Ah, I mean, let's stick with Walrin. Because I think Walrin is, uh, part water. Water nice. Again, I could be wrong. Yep, super effective. Wow, close. Earthquake, yep, he's done. Done like dinner. Not even close. Well... Who else to send out but Interceptor at this point, I guess. So much as heals for. Hopefully enough to where it won't be used. Probably will be. Yep, thought so. Damn. That's okay. Interceptor sh If this does more than half, then I'll be okay. Might not, though. Hmm. Well, it is super, so this should do a fair amount. Wow, just barely half. So, Warren might actually survive this. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, he was close though. He was close to surviving it. He's a trucker, but not trucking enough. And a Glalie. You know, we haven't seen Jaws dropped yet. I'm better send him out. I don't know. I feel kind of bad if I don't use a Pokemon in the Elite Four. Like, the whole time. Actually, yeah, we have Overheat. I could just use that. I completely forgot. This is the whole point I put Overheat on, too. I completely forgot. And because, uh, he's not a main, uh, special attack user, having it lowered really isn't that big of a deal for him, really. Isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, that sucks. I was kind of expecting it, but I didn't want to waste one of my hyper voices because I don't have that much of that. Wow. A lot more than I thought. Alright. Then again, Glade doesn't have very high uh, physical defense, I think. It missed? How could it miss? Oh, come on. I mean, I know how it can miss, but still. 
Well, hopefully this does a fair amount. Enough. Wow! Unbelievable. Un-freaking believable. Man. Well, alright, guess I'll have to use more facade, I guess. I didn't really- part of me didn't really want to use an item in the battle, just because it'd be like... an extra challenge, I guess, but whatever. It's not that big deal. I'm not abusing it. Oh, well, that was it too. Wow. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. Hmm, indeed. Advance to the next room. Confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Well, with that said, we are at 12 minutes, so yeah, we're gonna end it here. So I thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and in the next episode we'll be tackling on the final four of the Elite Four. And then we also have the, uh, the actual champion as well, but that's okay. So in the next episode we'll deal with that, so have a great day.